The 10th race, Breeders' Crown Open Trot Final of 2005, and they're off. Gapped off as the gate got away Coventry and Cincinnati Kid. Mr. Muscleman and Pierce pointing directly to the lead. Hell of a Hush comes out into the two-hole. Muscles Marinara, third best away. Sandvik is lining up in there from fourth. Now hitting the five-hole was Elegant Man ahead of Cincinnati Kid, and Coventry was last away. Mr. Muscleman and Pierce is going to try to front step his rivals in the Breeders' Crown. 26 and 3. A testy enough tempo, and over they go to the back stretch. Hell of a hush, tight in the two hole. Staying in was Muscles Marinara, but now the first over bid is underway in the back stretch by Sandvik. Sandvik is up to engage Mr. Muscleman and force him to go on on the top end, and he's doing just that. Mr. Muscleman repelling Sandvik. Hell of a hush right there, closing the pocket. Muscles Marinara back and forth. An elegant man, Cincinnati Kid, and Coventry, and they continue to battle on the top end. 50. Four and four, a very testy tempo up front. Still going on is Mr. Muscle Man. Sandvik is punishing him on the outside. Hell of a hush right there, third. Now Muscles Marinara sets sail and moves to the outside from fourth. Elegant Man is back in fifth. Cincinnati Kid and Coventry are the trailers. Top of the stretch. Absolutely nothing settled in this Breeders' Crown. Mr. Muscle Man tucking in on the turn with Sandvik. Muscles Marinara moving on the outside. 123. Mr. Muscle Man. What what an effort he is putting in here. He got rid of San Vic, Muscles Marinara, Elegant Man on the outside. No more trot for hell of a hush. Mr. Muscle Man in a short field was really made to earn it. And he's a deserving champion of the 2005 Breeders' Crown. And he's on the clock. Mr. Muscle Man. Sandvik second. Elegant Man third. 152. And that's the track record produced by the Breeders' Crown. Winner and Mr. Muscle Man. Congratulations, track record performance by Mr. Muscleman in the uh, Breeders' Crown Open Trot. Thank you very much. It's got to be a big relief after what the horse didn't do on Hambo Day. Yes, it is. There, we were concerned uh, how he'd be tonight. Uh, everybody else was. Um, I, I, as soon as I got him on the track, scored him down, I said, I don't know what everybody's worried about. This horse is fine. And I went over and told PJ, relax a little bit. You know, don't worry. We're going to just jog. And uh, the horse just jogged. Had you made up the decision to leave with the gate, leave right off the gate uh, earlier tonight, or was it a, a game time decision when the wings sprung? No, nah, you never can plan ahead in races like this because you never know what everybody else is going to be doing. So, you, so I, um, I, I kind of made up my mind when when we were pick, gate was pick, picking up speed. Brian took you pretty hard around the final turn. Uh, how strong did your guy feel at that point? Well, he felt real good. I I, I, was, I just sat there and I hadn't, hadn't even called on him yet. Uh, I looked back. Uh, and seeing there was a big gap behind us uh, come, as just before we straightened up there and I went ahead and pulled the plugs and yelled at him a little bit and uh, uh, chased him on. Never did touch him with the whip, I don't think. Uh, he did it all by himself. We're on the Maple Leaf Trot is next. It could be one of the greatest co-ed battles of all time. Uh, Mr. Muscle Man versus Peaceful Way. Oh, geez, I don't think that mare wants any part of this horse. His, um, you know, she's a great mare. She's you know really pretty, but I... I don't think she wants any part of this horse. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. All right. That was fighting words. Ron Pierce says, Mr. Muscle Man in the Maple Leaf Trot. Peaceful Way's got no shot. We'll see. The Maple Leaf Trot is going to feature some of these top older trotting horses and mares in a few weeks' time. Super Kenny with thanks to our Ken Middleton from Live in the Winner's Circle, winning driver Ron Pierce, and the interview as seen live and nationally across Canada on the score coverage on Breeders' Crown Night from Mohawk. The Muscles Yankee five-year-old Bay Gelding from Meadow Branch, Irene, bred by Sparjay Stables of Brooklyn, New York, and Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky, owned by Adam Victor and Son Stable of New York, trained by Mike Vanderkamp, and driven to victory by Ron Pierce as he has been on Canadian soil in so many other stakes appearances and victories, and now he has the track record at both of our racetracks, Woodbine and Mohawk, and the fastest trotting race in Mohawk's 43-year history. Mr. Muscleman in 152 to capture the Breeders' Crown.